up, homies? Today we're gonna make some cumin lamb. Super simple. Let's get started. Hello friends and foes and whoever else watches this. Today we'll start by cutting an onion, peeling them skins first, give it a little, a little rough chop chop. Onions are going to make the lamb nice and aromatic and give it a little crunch. Um, and it'll also give you a real good cry. So if you're feeling sad, you're welcome. And then now we're going to roughly uh, fuck up some of this cilantro just for garnish later. Add a little extra fragrance. And here we have two pounds of spring lamb. And this is the leg of lamb. Um, you can buy it sliced or you can slice it yourself like so. Not too thin, so you don't want it to cook too fast, but like not too thick either. And then put it into a bowl. And then we're going to add a fuck ton of wine to eliminate some of that gaminess that is very common in lamb. Uh, then we add some salt um, and then that good cornstarch to help tenderize the lamb and give your meat a nice little massage. Um, not in a weird way, unless that's what you want. Then, all good. Meat is prepared. All right, now we wanna add some cumin to toast the spices so you bring out the aromas and all the flavors. Um, so we're gonna toast these cumin seeds and chili peppers and then when it's nice and about to be burnt we <laughs> put it into the grinder and give it a little um, first I ground the spice um, the peppers and then gonna grind up some cumin oh yeah and then, give it a little and then we're ready it's all good all right, heat up a wok, super hot until it's like smoking. Add some high temp oil, give it a little swirl, and then add in the marinated lamb. Give it a little fucking action. Get it nice and cooked. Um, we're just trying to like cook it as hot and as fast as possible. Alrighty, time to put in some onions. Um, and we just want it to absorb all of them meat juices. And oh, mm, gotta put in that spice mix that we spent so long to make. Um, and then give it a little stir stir, mix it up, get everything nice and on the same page. And oh, Add in a little, little bit of sugar, just to make it taste, just to enhance some flavors. Um, and then, yeah, you should know it's about ready when uh, there's a little bit of like blood coming out of it, kind of like a medium rare steak. I know that I always play in bowls, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna, you know, add a little cilantro here, a little. Ooh, a little garnish, but yeah, I'm gonna start plating not bowls. <laughs> um, but oh, oh, fuck, fuck me, man, I forgot something. Um, we need to add one teaspoon of soy sauce extra because it wasn't salty enough. Ooh, ooh, okay, that looks. Mm. Time, time, give it a try. Mm -mm. Hey guys. So you might have noticed I added that extra teaspoon of soy sauce at the end. And that's really the magic of cooking. It's like trial and error, whatever makes your taste buds happy. Um, but definitely wasn't salty enough. And so obviously I tried it before. So I know like it needs extra teaspoon. Um, but I'll try it again, just for y'all. Um, these massive pieces did a bad job cutting. Very tender, not chewy at all. Kind of a texture of like medium, medium rare steak. Spices are not overpowering. 
really nice cumin flavor. Um, personally, I think I would have liked more pepper. You don't get any of that gaminess if you add a shit ton of wine, and that was like definitely the move. Um, if you like really can't stand gaminess before you add the lamb in, you can put some like minced ginger to even further eliminate that odor. Um, but overall, solid dish. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna eat the rest of this two pounds of lamb by myself now. So, see you later.